so when you hear um, when you hear think next what, what does that mean to you thinking next to me means um, moving forward don't be stagnant um, make your dreams a reality figure out where people are going to be and then try to be there ahead of them I like it right? absolutely it's like thinking ahead think next thinking ahead what is next yeah what do you think oh, where do boy. you think this industry is going in the next five or ten years well you know it's kind of a digital age right now and younger audience it's a younger viewing audience I've really noticed that these kids have all the information at the touch of the finger they are able to find ways of uh, you know finding the most information and technology available and encompassing it so I believe that if we can keep up with this younger viewing audience and having the genre and the things that they really like to watch and keeping it techno savvy you're gonna keep them really interested and I think it's going to be moving ahead in a more of a digital type of a age well, I think that uh, I think that TV is kind of headed to an interactive type uh, time. Virtual. Sorry. Okay, well, go ahead. <laughs> interactive. I like that. I think that uh, I think TV could be a lot more interactive, like. Um, for instance, storage wars. Uh, there are so many ways that we could have brought that to the to the viewing public, where they could they could be interactive in what's going on. They could right. guess values. People love to figure out what's inside the box, and it seems like uh, humans are very. Uh, inquisitive and they're very curious about uh, the way other people are raising their families and how are they making money and 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 what's working for us somebody else because uh, as humans we always want to do something better you know there's always the grass is always greener on the other side or at least we think that it is so being able to escape through TV is wonderful and I think that uh, you're right Laura I think that different genres people are interested in different things and I think that as the entertainment uh, industry progresses they will make specialized channels basically for people that'll be unique and individual to them okay. if they're into a certain thing then it's going to be very smart and easy for the networks to figure out what are they watching and how can I put this into a stream for them where they can pick the time and the date and what they want to watch when they want to watch it and I think that's kind of where uh, entertainment's heading yeah I think so. So what inspires you, Dan, as an artist? You know, I like to see people get involved. I I was very excited when Storage Wars started because it, it inspired people to get off the couch, get off their ass, and, and turn one dollar into three. And okay. they didn't all do it with self-storage. They figured out a lot of different ways to make money. And, and capitalism is great. And you know, here in the United States, this is what we based our whole country on. And I've never had a real job. I mean, I haven't had one in decades and either did my mom or my dad. And you know, my mom was self-employed. My dad was a fisherman. My, my grandfather was a cattle drover. My great grandfather was a cattle drover and we just have never had a regular job. So we think of ways outside the box to make money and to feed our families. And I think that intrigues people. That's how I think human kindness inspires me. Be kind and generous and compassionate. What about when they piss you off? Yeah, well, you know, I'm still kind and generous, but I do it with a boldness. I think that uh, <laughs> I think that uh, TV, I think being real is is very important component with any successful yeah. show. It's people if it doesn't pass the smell test, then then it's just bullshit, and that's not what people really want. Oh, they it. they want to see something that's real, something that inspires them, something that grabs them deep down within their soul, mm -hmm. and it motivates them to do something. And love that's it. that's where I see the entertainment industry going. I think that's what inspires people. And yeah, you know, I feel that uh, you know the way that as an artist, on-air artist in the entertainment industry, we can affect many, many viewing audiences and many people. And the way I think that many people do do that, I know that for ourselves, we're compassionate. I believe that when we do it, we're generous. We do it with bravado. And I believe that they can feel a little bit of themselves in the people that they're watching on TV. So I think that, you know, it's something about hope, you know, that the person, can be just like that or get up off their seat and make some money or change their lives. Seems like people really like to feel and they're either mad or they're happy or they're greedy or they're sad and hope is probably the best emotion that we can hope to invoke in anybody and Storage Wars has hope 
because it shows you how to turn one dollar into three it it shows you that 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 this modern day treasure hunt it does exist and and it is out there and if it's not with storage it's, it's with something else anything else and and I love to inspire our children to think outside the box and go make money and think think about everything and right. uh, so how do you get your voice heard babe oh you remembered all the questions I'm so proud of you. Okay. <laughs> Be, by being genuine, compassionate, and I believe that speaking to somebody truthfully. Yeah, I think being honest is great. Yep. And I think what's more powerful than words is actions. I think that if you're bragging about yourself and you say, hey, I'm going to do something, that's great. That's great. But to actually do it. Um, right. That, that invokes a lot of respect out of people and that, that speaks a lot louder than words. It's, it's what do you do? What do you do with your life? What do you do with people? How do you treat people? How do you do business? Right. How do you raise your family? As an artist in the entertainment industry, people look up to you. They expect you to be looking outside of the box, looking ahead, moving ahead. So that thinking next is exactly what you know the people in this world are doing, is what we're think doing. Next. Is think next. It's capturing the imagination, the dreams, and evoking, I think, a realism that they feel they can do it on their own. Think next. Think next. What's happening next? Let's find out together. <laughs> Thanks for paying the lady.